People go to Las Vegas searching for the Wizard of Oz. The predisposition is to have a great time. They try to forget about anything and everything. All those things allow Vegas to be a great culinary destination. Anything is possible in Las Vegas. Las Vegas is absolutely a destination for some of the best chefs in the country, and not just celebrity chefs, but a lot of young chefs. It's become a great proving ground for talent. The visitors have evolved, which has made the food scene evolve. Now people are kind of looking for a story. People are looking for the narrative. There are always new restaurants every year, big new restaurants, and a whole lot of resources devoted to continually evolving the culinary scene here. We have a casino system that allows chefs like me to go and, and dream as high as we want. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to A. You've now entered the mind of Jose Andres. Their restaurants are stories that my team and I, we want to share. All traveling together, all learning, and to bring those stories of what we learn into one plate at a time. The DNA is Spain. It doesn't matter if it's a technique, it's a concept, it's a tradition, it's a product, you know. The foods and ingredients of Spain, but through a kaleidoscopic lens. Definitely, a, definitely more of a, a contemporary style of, of cooking. You'll hear the term modern, uh, avant-garde. This style of, of cuisine is just fun. Everybody today will understand the meaning of sangria. So this is a Cava Sangria sparkling wine from the Catalan region. We've made a white sangria out of that. It's gonna get a little hands-on for this one. Become something like you can hold in the palm of your hand. It's challenging you to understand the new reality. How we do that? Well, you don't wanna know. You only want to enjoy it. That bite celebrates the Spain that everybody knows, the tradition, the beginning of your meal very much. is telling you this is gonna be an experience like no other. So here we have chefs Rick, Javier, Airo, Isidro. There's almost as many chefs as there is people in that restaurant. <laughs> it's not the work of one person, of one chef, because it's a whole bunch of people working super hard and everybody contributing something. And more team members working towards moving a restaurant forward makes always a better restaurant. They want it to be a little mysterious. They want it to be special kind of submit yourself to what these chefs want to accomplish. We call these ones stones. In Las Vegas, we have at least one of everything. Chefs are feeling like they need to push the envelope, be a little bit more experimental. We like to kind of keep a certain level of secrecy. We don't present them with any menus. We give them clues to what their night has in store. One course after the next, you know, we like to kind of keep them on their toes. It is different to any other restaurant because there you're putting yourself in the hands of the chef. Some of our dishes may appear that it's one thing, but it's in actuality something totally different. So the bread is an apple meringue with foie gras and Harry's Berries strawberries. You can see their mind like kind of come to a halt and like regroup itself. We do it for the pure enjoyment of my team and I learning. We're still learning today and after 35 years in the profession, every day passes, I only know that I know nothing. There certainly are not very many restaurants in Las Vegas that you have no idea what you're going to get. You're not going to find anything else like that on this trip. I want you to come with no expectations. Something is not going to be great because I'm telling you this is great. Something is going to be great because your body, your senses is telling you it's something extraordinary. And this is what we expected from me, no? So you all will remember, say, whoa, we go to Las Vegas, all the crowds, all the lights, all the gambling lobs, everything. They go to eat, and the time to stop for two hours and a half. You're feeding yourself, not only your body, but your spirit, and your needs of experiencing something new. I don't really know of any other restaurants in Vegas that that have this same type of dining experience from beginning to end. You sit back and kind of just go on this, this ride, this journey, let the team do what they do. It brings the entire room together. 
You know, we can create the more amazing thing and conceptuality or philosophical or whatever you want people can say. But the more important thing is the people when they put it in, in the mouth and they eat it and taste it and they say, damn, this is good. This is really good. You never know how the food evolves in a restaurant. But when things are done with good heart, good intentions, and somebody put good thinking in the why we do the things we do, to me, everything is valid. Everything in life has a rhythm, has a movement, has, a, has an intention. Restaurants are spaces that they are not brick and mortar. They have heart and they are alive. And that's what it is. The smallest restaurant in Las Vegas that became one of the great restaurants in America.